we now want to have a look at the analysis section and we're looking here just about the different kinds of statistics and graphs and calculations that we will need to be able to do. So we're going to start by looking at measures of centre and there are three different ways that we can measure the centre, three different calculations we can do. The one, the first one is the mean and so the mean is talking about where the average is, okay, we're looking at where the middle is and to calculate the mean we add all of the numbers in our data set up and we divide by how many data values we've got. Okay, so in the example that you've got there you can see that there are seven values and they've added them together, 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 to get to 32 and if you do 32 divided by the seven values you have that gives you a mean of 4.57. The second um, measure of centre that we have is our median and the median is the number in the middle. So in order to find the number in the middle, the most important thing we've got to do is put all the numbers in order from smallest to biggest. Okay, so for example, you can see there, they list all the numbers in order from smallest to biggest. Now the median is the number that's in the middle. So if you pair up from the outsides, so I could first of all cross off the very first two and the last eight. And say, right, those are balanced out now. Now I'm going to go in a step cross out the next two and the seven, then I'm going to the three and the five and that leaves me with that five in the middle that's been highlighted. And so the median for this data set is the number that's in the middle, which in this case is five. If you happen to have two values in the middle, then you would simply add them together and divide by two and that will find the average of them, find the middle of those two numbers. The third measure of centre that we have is our mode. Um, and this is the number or numbers that are most common, that happen most often. So in this case you can see there are two twos and two fives, so that's why you've got two modes, you've got a mode of two and a mode of five. We then want to have a look at analysis for the spread, what kind of calculations and measurements we use for spread. So that's looking at how spread out the data is. And we've got this measure of range, which is your overall maximum, biggest number, take away the minimum which is your smallest number okay so you can see there from that little example the biggest number is the number 8 the smallest number is number 2 so our range is 8 take away 2 which is 6 the other one measure of spread that we have is our interquartile range and I shorten this to IQR okay it stands for interquartile range and we've got an upper UQ which is the upper quartile and the LQ, which is the lower quartile. So this is, the, think about the word quartile, it's talking about quarters. So it's taking a data set and splitting it into quarters or four groups. And we've got the first quarter, the second quarter, the third quarter, and the fourth quarter. And that's what our upper and our lower quarter are, okay? The place where um, the middle, so the place where the 75% of the data is, and the place where 25% of the data is. So say I have this example here, okay, I'll list all my numbers in order from smallest to biggest, and I first of all find the median, okay, so we found the middle by going through and the median is at, it's halfway between that 5 and 6 here, okay. Now what you're going to do is look at all the numbers that are smaller than that, so just the ones on the left hand side of this line. So we've got the numbers 1, 3, 3, 4, 5. And so from that set of numbers, you are going to find the middle of that set of numbers. So the middle of that set is this number 3. So that would be your lower quartile. Then go back to the median. And you're going to look at all the numbers that are bigger than that median. And from that set of numbers that are bigger than the median, you're going to find the middle, which is at 7. So that would be your upper quartile. So the interquartile range for this set of data would be 7 take away 3 which is 4 okay and that gives you the interquartile range is looking at how big is the spread in the middle of the data so the range is looking at the spread overall and the interquartile range is looking at the spread in the middle there's two types of plots we want to be able to do we want to be able to do a dot plot and this dot plot here represents my data. So I can see there at zero, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six dots at zero. 
that tells me there are six data values which all have a value of zero. I've got two data values that have a value of one, three data values with a value of two, and so on. So this is my dot plot. I'm just literally plotting my data on a number line and counting up how many I've got of each type. Then we've got the box plot, or sometimes called the box or whisker plot. And this is the an overall summary. So this is just a summary of that dot plot. And so what it does is you plot your lowest value there, the minimum. You plot your highest value, your maximum. You plot the upper quartile. You plot the median. And you plot the lower quartile. So you just plot five points on that graph. Okay, those five points. And then you just draw the whisker, draw the box, and draw the whisker. Okay, that's all it is. Once we, I'll get you to do the first one in the exercise there by hand because I need you to understand what the graph is and how you create the graph. And from there or after that, we will use NZ Graffer, which is a website, um, to do these graphs for us.